All right, today this video is to show you the new features in Notebook 14.2 that's being released very soon. Our major new feature of Notebook 14.2 is geared around early elementary math called Smart Blocks. So to get started, I'm going to show you Smart Blocks. I'm going to add a new page. Then I'm going to come over here to the right-hand side and click on my Add-ons tab. And you'll notice there's a new icon there for Smart Blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You notice we have a whole bunch of new operations. So to get started to show you this, I'm just going to put some numbers on the page here. And you can do this in any order. And I'm going to grab a couple blocks. So I'm going to grab my addition block, and I'm going to grab the subtraction block. Now I need to make some connectors. And that's just drawing a line from the numbers to the block that you want to use. So I'm going to take my 1 and bring it to the addition block, and my 2 to the addition block. So now I get 1 plus 2 equals 3. Now I can use numbers multiple times. So I'm going to take the 2 and bring it to our subtraction block. Then I'm going to take our 3 and bring it to the subtraction block. So 2 minus 3 equals negative 1, because order of operations does matter. Now let's say this wasn't exactly what I wanted. I actually wanted to take the sum of 1 plus 2 and subtract it from 3. I can do that, but first I have to get rid of my connector from the 2 to the minus, to the minus block, subtraction block. So I'm going to grab my eraser, and I'm just going to erase part of the connector, and the connector goes away. Now with smart blocks, I can connect multiple blocks together. So I'm going to take my addition block and connect it to my subtraction block. So now I get my 1 plus 2 equals 3, then 3 minus 3 equals 0. So that's just the basics of what smart blocks can do. But if you'll take a look here on the right-hand side, and just to see what blocks we have available to us, we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, powers, and we also have square roots. But then we have this last one here, this unknown blocks. This unknown block is really good for a discussion piece in class. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the page to show you what this one does. So I'm just going to put two more numbers on the page, so 6 and 3. I'm going to draw a connector of 6 and 3. And what it does, it gives us an answer of 18. So we ask the class, 6 and what to 3 equals 18? So as we discussed this, we know that's multiplication. So as the discussion piece, we say, that's the piece that's missing is multiplication. So that is smart blocks. Um, another, we've made an improvement to a feature that we did release in Notebook 14.1. And that feature is up here with our add-ons button at the top. And it's our Math Inc. So I'm going to go ahead and click on our Math Inc. And bring that up. So this is not changed. But what has changed is our responsiveness to how we write. So when I do 1 plus 2 equals 3, it's detected almost right away. Before there was a, uh, more of a bigger delay, but now it's right away. So I go ahead and accept that. 1 plus 2 equals 3. And just like before, if I double click on that, it brings the editor back up and I can erase. So let's say I didn't want 2. So we'll erase all that. And 4 equals 5. So you'll notice it obviously did not like where the pen dragged there. So we'll get rid of part of that there. And we're going to go ahead and add our equal sign back in. And accept. So we've made an improvement there with the speed. Now, the last two new feature or improvements we made with 14.2 might be hard to see on a video. So I'll just talk them through. Um, the first one is with our object animation. What we've done is we've smoothed out, smoothed out the animation. So if I wanted to animate this box, I do it the same way. I come over to my properties tab and I go to object animation. In this case, I'm going to flip it on axis. Now, like I said, in the video, it might be hard to see, but the animation is a lot smoother than it was before. So that was a major improvement. And then our last major improvement was with our page recorder. Before with the page recorder, it, the frame rate wasn't as fast, so you had a little choppiness in the video. So yet again, I'm going to show you this feature. Um, it might not give it justice to what it's actually going to look like when you're actually running it on your computer. But I'm going to go over here to the page recorder. I'm going to start recording. And I'm just going to do a quick math problem here. Okay, and then I'm just going to solve it. So minus 1. 
Team One, page recorder, and stop recording. So just like before, everything's still the same. But my playback is very smooth. We don't have any jumpiness like we did before because of a lower frame rate. So that's been a major improvement um, with Notebook 14.2. So those are key new things with Notebook 14.2. And I will talk to you later.